Okay, I just had to add this piece because I felt a little bad leaving you guys in all of this lesson about how you design the basic clock faces, including rotation, and just hinting at something called multi-rotate without really explaining it. It's because I couldn't, honestly. This is what I knew about multi-rotate. It's the English, I think, Google translation of Chinese, M-U-L, rotate, with a number, and the suffix, slash, mul, rotate, contact, rotate, mix, multiple, normal, rotation, speed, the default is 1. The value of a regular rotation speed multiplied by the default configuration, in addition to its absolute value, is negative. Um, so I reached out to... Of course, the guys over at the XDA Developers Forum on this watch and the clock faces. I got to tell you, there's like a Murphy's Law that there's only so much you know, and after that, you don't know anything. And the corollary, there's always somebody else that knows something you don't. Seek them out. From Loki Fish Mars, we've mentioned him before. Uh, he, <laughs> this says volumes compared to that. That's, uh, that's weird. This, this gives a bit of an understanding of what multi-rotate is. If you have a multi-rotate 60 slash multi-rotate or mole rotate, and it's associated with a seconds rotation field, then what you're getting is going to be a change of rotation to be a multiplier. 60 times the seconds will rotate 1 60th or 60 times faster, right? Another way, a mole rotate of minus 60 plus the seconds rotation will slow it down by a factor of 60, giving you a rotation equal to a minute. And the maximum rotation, if he remembers correctly, is 1,000. That's the breaking point where this factor won't work anymore. So what does that mean in practicality? Well, I dove into this particular design here and messed around with it, which I'm going to show you quickly so you get a feel for what it looks like. It's a drawable aspect. In this case, I'm using uh, the Blade 2 uh, image, which all of this, of course, is from another developer over at the XDA forum. We'll have the links to the originals in the uh, information below this video. We have a rotate factor of three. Remember, one, two, and three. Three is seconds. So this is where it's saying the seconds rotation and direction, which we'll get to uh, in a minute, and then the multi-rotate. In this case a factor of 20. So it's saying multiply the rotational speed factor 3 which is once a minute so it's showing you the seconds by a factor of 20 for that particular image. And then there's another one which has a convoluted image identifier which actually is that center section. You see that kind of gray little center section? And it's also a rotation 3. And in this case, this a multi-rotate is set to the maximum, 999. So what does that actually mean for an image? This is not doing this right now. The center thing is static, and the outer ring is rotating it once a minute. It's the just basic rotate 3. So it doesn't have this extra code in it. But what happens if we add a little bit? Let's take a look. Here's the digital version, which is the one we're going to modify because it's easier to see that center rotation. Again, this is the basic once a minute rotation and static for the interior. I like to think of this as a turbine blade in the wind. It's like before the airplane starts to rev up. Okay, then the airplane begins turning its motor on a little bit. And you start to see the outer ring is still traveling at the same speed. But the inner ring, the inner image is beginning to rotate slightly. So the code for that looks something like this. There's the whole package with the drawables and, and what we're looking at really is right up here the blade itself. Then there's the layout for other things that are on here, the time and um, 
the background and at the very bottom down here we have the other multi-rotate segment which is that center section and it's set for a factor of 10. The other one was set for a factor of 2 and you're getting that picture. Now, if you increase these numbers slightly, you take this factor of 2 up to a factor of 5, you take this factor of 10 up to a factor of 60, so it's rotating once a second. That center is at this point. The outer one is rotating a little bit faster. You see it's sort of like the, the turbine spinning up a little bit. So what happens if you go faster? Again, this is just messing with the uh, factors related to multi-rotate. This is now a factor of 10 for the blade, so it's going 10 times faster than just the normal second uh, or one minute rotation or the seconds hand. This one has been bumped up to 100, 10 times faster than what it was shown here. So that's getting pretty interesting. Well, what happens if you rev it all the way up to the ones I showed here? 20 for the middle and all the way to the maximum for the outer one, or for the inner one. The outer one being 20 and the inner one being full speed. Now, I don't know how this is going to work considering that it's on a watch which is rendering this as best as it can. Going into a camera that's capturing this at so many frames per second. Translating it to YouTube where you're downloading it at some sort of a streaming speed. But I'll tell you what I see right here. I'm seeing the outer blade going pretty darn quickly, but I can uniformly see it. The inner one is moving so fast that it sometimes move, looks like it's twirling clockwise, sometimes counterclockwise, and it's just fribulating all over the place. That is really interesting. And it's all done with multipliers in the mole rotate. This multiplies that by a factor that's listed. And if you put in minus, it diminishes the rotational factor accordingly. So if you wanted to, say, get something to turn once um, a year, you actually could put in a negative factor multiplied by the proper amount, and you'd have a hand that's rotating on a watch once a year or once a month, or once every 24 hours, whatever you'd like. It can be done through the multi-rotate applied to the drawable package that includes a rotate. Now, what about this direction thing? Well, this is what kind of kicked me to go ahead and put this little video out, because, hello, it's St. Patrick's Day 2016, and number one has just placed on their website the download package for a firmware update for this watch, the number one D5. It's kind of why I prefer the D5 over the other ones that are similar, the K8, the K18, the K8 Mini. Uh, I don't know that they have a company behind them that's keeping up with customer support like number one is. So the number one D5 has a downloadable package. You may get a push notification soon to your D5 that there's an update waiting. And when you get that, it has a fix in the clock engine for direction. I haven't talked about direction because it didn't work. Obviously, direction means which way are you turning, clockwise or counterclockwise. A direction of one means clockwise. However, if I have a direction of two, everything will spin backwards. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, for one, you could show uh, clock wheels, gears, you know, meshing together, and one has to turn clockwise and its mate has to go the other way. You might want to do a combination lock uh, type of a clock where the hours go clockwise, but the minutes go counterclockwise, and you have to read it down for the time. There's all sorts of creative reasons why you may want to have a counterclockwise rotation. And when you have the updated firmware, watch faces that are created using the direction code with two will indeed rotate counterclockwise. So that's it about multi-rotate. My preference, well, I liked a um, little bit slower, but with more information. It's the one I whipped together, um, putting in addition to the time, the date at the top, the power, and in words, the day of the week and the month, all floating on this nice little rotating face.
all done with simple code that anybody can learn by watching these uh, video clips and uh, create watch faces, clock skins they're called, for your number one D5. All right, going to show you some examples of creative talent from the XDA community in another upcoming video. And we'll be doing more videos on how you actually use this thing when you get beyond the clock face and into the clock. What are some of the apps you want to download in addition to the ones we already have? I'll give you a sneak peek. That's one we're going to be talking about real soon. Let's make this thing productive. See you soon.